The lamps are located behind this. So we, what we want to do is we want to take off these two little screws here. So let's do that. Okay. All right. So now that this metal box is on, off, what you'll see is here is the tungsten lamp and this is the D2 lamp. So let me show you how to change the tungsten lamp. You want to take off this screw here and this screw there. So let's do that. By the way, make sure you wait 30 minutes for the lamps to cool. Otherwise, it's going to be really hot. So after you turn off the PDA, wait 30 minutes. So here is the tungsten lamp. And then the way you change it is just like you change like a car lamp. You can just pop this guy off just like that. So that's just how you do that lamp. Super easy. So that's how you change that guy out. The D2 lamp is a little bit more um, troublesome. So you got to take off these screws over here. But you don't need to take the screws completely out. You could just loosen them and then this one. And then this assembly should come out. And so you will have to disconnect this here. And the way that you do that is you pinch down and you pull. And then you have to separate this D2 lamp portion from the housing. So this guy comes out like this. Okay. And then you remove it like this. Okay. And then so this gets tossed out and then you put the new one in. You kind of can't mess this up because they have this little pin here that juts out so you can only put it in one way. And then let's connect back the cable. Okay. You can't get it wrong because it literally says this side up right there. You want to tuck this guy back in. But you're not done. You have to now put water in. What we're doing is we're just filling the flow cell with water and you can d disconnect um, over here too just to make sure all the fluid passes out and you want to make sure that there's no bubbles so maybe you wouldn't want to get a bigger syringe but you just want to fill the flow cell up with water before you start to do the software portion of the lamp change and you have to do the software calibration to make sure everything passes. The first thing you want to do is go to instrument maintenance tools right here. And then we want to select M20A and HPLC1. And the first thing you want to do is a wavelength check. So you click that and you go wavelength check and then D2H2O. If this fails, you either have forgotten to put water in the flow cell, you have bubbles, or maybe you should change the lamp. <laughs> which is what we're doing. So look, everything passed. If this fails, the next thing you want to do is go here to wavelength calibration and you go function and you calibrate the wavelength table and you click yes. After this, you go back here and you do another wavelength check like so. Now, if that doesn't work, you go function here, you set the exposure time and then you click yes over here. And then you have to go function and go to lamp time and reset the lamp hours because it's a brand new lamp. So the next thing you want to do is to check that the D2 um, wavelength is 230 and 3.5 and the tungsten is 600 and 2.5. And if they're not, then change it to these values. And then after that's done, you want to go back and perform the wavelength check again. And then if everything passes, you're good to go. And that's how you change out lamps on the Shimatsu M20 SPD M20A PDA. That's a mouthful. All right, see you in the next one.